Hello, my name is Yarinette Rivera, and today I will be solving a problem for my History of Mathematics course presentation. This is the problem. Use Cardano's method to solve the given cubic equation. We have to find x, and x cubed minus 6x plus 2 is equal to 0. Now, using Cardano's method, we know that an equation of this form, x cubed plus px, is equal to q, we can use this algebraic identity. a minus b in parentheses cubed plus 3ab times parentheses a minus b close parentheses is equal to a cubed minus b cubed, where x is equal to a minus b, a minus b, p is equal to 3ab, and q is equal to a cubed minus b cubed. Therefore, we can also write it in this form. In parentheses, a minus b, close parentheses, cubed, plus p times, open parentheses, a minus b, close parentheses, is equal to q, where x is equal to a minus b, p is equal to 3ab, and q is equal to a cubed minus b cubed. These are important values that we'll be using often. Now, the next step is to rewrite our given equation. So now, our x cubed minus 6x plus 2 equals 0, we have to have it in Cardano's methods equation form, so we have to bring this 2 to the other side. So we'll subtract 2 from each side and we'll have 3x x cubed, I'm sorry, x cubed minus 6x is equal to negative 2, where x equals a minus b, p equals 3ab, and q equals a cubed minus b cubed. Using these variables, these coefficients, we see that p is equal to negative 6 in this equation, which is equal to 3ab, and q is equal to negative 2 in this equation, which is equal to a cubed minus b cubed. This part here, negative 6 equals 3ab, can be rewritten as a is equal to negative 2 divided by b. So we'll be using this. a equals negative 2 divided by b and negative 2 equals a cubed minus b cubed. Our next step is going to be plugging this value of a into this equation. As we see here, plug a equals negative 2 divided by b into the equation of q equals negative 2. So here, we plug this in, in parentheses, negative 2 equals negative 2 divided by b all cubed minus b cubed. Negative 2 equals negative 2 cubed would be negative 8 and b cubed would be b cubed because in the case of a fraction we can just cube both the denominator and then the denominator and the numerator. So we'll have negative 8 over b cubed minus b cubed. Now in order to eliminate this denominator we'll multiply each side of the equation by negative b cubed. By multiplying it by negative b cubed, we eliminate all these negative values. So we multiply each e side of the equation by negative b cubed and we'll obtain 2 times b cubed equals 8 plus b to the 6th power, which can be rewritten as b to the 6th minus 2 times b to the 3rd plus 8 is equal to 0. Now. We know that this equation somewhat resembles the quadratic formula. So in order to use our quadratic formula and create, be, make this become a quadratic equation, we will be using u substitution. Let u equal b to the third power or b cubed. Therefore, if we rewrite this equation, we'll see that it can be rewritten as b cubed squared to the second power minus 2 times b cubed plus 8 equals 0. Therefore, we can plug u into these values. We'll have u squared minus 2u plus 8 is equal to 0. Therefore, we know that there is an invisible 1 in front of this u. So the variables that I will be using for my quadratic formula will be q for the first coefficient, r for the second coefficient, and s for the third coefficient. 
that is, we'll have q equals 1, r equals negative 2, and s equals 8. Therefore, here is our quadratic equation. u, the value of u in this quadratic equation, will be equal to negative r plus minus the entire square root of r squared minus 4 times q times s, di all divided by 2 times q. So now, we begin by plugging in the values of q, r, and s. So now we have neg r equals negative 2. Negative r would be positive 2 if it's negative times a negative. So it would be positive 2 plus minus negative 2 squared would be 4. And then negative 4 times q, which is 1, so it would be still negative 4, times 8 would be negative 32. And then under we have q equals 1, 2 times 1 is 2. So now our equation is 2 plus minus the square root of 4 minus 32 over 2, all over 2. Therefore we can simplify the radical into 2 plus minus the square root of negative 28 divided by 2. And because we have a negative, we can take that out. So we'll factor out this negative 28, so we have 2 plus minus the square root of negative 1 times 4 times 7 divided by 2. We know that the square root of negative 1 is equal to i, an imaginary number, and the square root of 4 is equal to 2. So these two values, we can take them out of the radical. So we'll have 2 plus minus 2i times the square root of 7, all divided by 2. And since they all have a 2, 2, and 2, all the terms contain a 2, we can divide the actual operation. We can continue with this operation. So we'll eliminate the 2s. And we'll be left with u equals 1 plus minus i times the square root of 7. Now let's remember that u is equal to b to the third power, b cubed. So we have to substitute this value of u. Therefore, we remember that. And we plug in b cubed is equal to 1 plus minus i times the square root of 7. Now we need to eliminate this 3, this cubed power, so we take the cubic root of both sides of the equation. Therefore, we will have b equals the cubic root of 1 plus minus i times the square root of 7. Now, given this value of b, we have to find the value of a. So now, this is our value of b the cubic root of 1 plus minus i times the square root of 7. So now, recall that in our original equation, after we rewrote this, in x cubed minus 6x equals negative 2, we found that x equals a minus b, a equals negative 2 divided by b, and negative 2 equals a cubed minus b cubed. So now we have to find a. And this is quite simple, because since we already have this value of a equals negative 2 divided by b, and we have this value of b, we simply plug it in. Therefore, a will equal negative 2 divided by the value of b, which would be negative 2 divided by the cubic root of 1 plus minus i times the square root of 7. Now that we have our a and b values, we can find our x value, which was our main goal. So now x equals a minus b, therefore our solution is x equals a, which would be negative 2 divided by the cubic root of 1 plus minus i times the square root of 7 minus, because it's a minus b, so we put minus here, the cubic root of 1 plus minus i times the square root of 7. And this is our solution. Thank you for watching.